Now there's um, um, I think probably thousands of objects in the Malton Museum collection and it's very difficult to decide which one to talk about uh, when you have a visit to the museum but I think this one is a winner. Uh, it's, a, it's a bronze pan and it's a Roman bronze pan and these things were turned out in quite large quantities in the Roman period and this one was actually stamped with the maker's name and believe it or not he was made, he, he lived in, in Italy so this object has come from Italy we know who made it but really uh, more interestingly uh, in some ways the person who owned it who bought it perhaps or was uh, issued it as a, as a bit of military kit put his name on it too and so we've got uh, uh, on the, the back of the thing a little inscription uh, which says Marcus Servinius Super. Now Marcus Servinius Super was probably a, a one of the military um, uh, staff in the Roman fort that there used to be at Malton in the uh, first, second, third and fourth centuries AD and uh, because he has this long name with three elements we know that he was quite an important guy uh, he ha uh, has a name that has three parts uh, the first one um, is the um, prinomen according to the uh, R Roman naming tradition which is the, the ordinary name of the, the guy and it was Marcus so uh, if you're asking what the Romans ever did for us they brought the name Mark into Britain and the second one is Servinius um, which is the main name and it deals with his uh, family and the final bit super is something that the family uh, adopted as their cognomen the third part of the three-part Roman naming system uh, to give their family a particular uh, identity so this is a really exciting thing for, for, first of all it's a lovely object and you can imagine somebody having their um, mark, um, you know, I don't know whether it would be porridge or something but uh, porridge for breakfast out of this heating it up uh, it's a object that is quite easily recognizable so it's always on display and you can see it uh, usually in the uh, museum in Malton uh, but it has this fascinating story uh, that actually takes us to probably the first named Malton resident sometime in the, perhaps the second century AD so that's why this one is, is so special and uh, we're very proud to have that in the collection but there are so many others um, anything from little bits of pottery that were brought in from uh, uh, the area around there were the pottery kilns over in Norton just across the river from Malton there were pottery kilns later on at Cranbeck on the way to, to York uh, and uh, there's pots in the museum from, from those, both those places which were manufacturing places but the army uh, when it first came to York, uh, Yorkshire and uh, to Malton demanded reasonably good um, quality tableware and they imported that from initially France what is now France was then Gaul uh, and later on from, from Germany and we've got enormous quantities of that it's often called Samian ware uh, or a little bit more uh, poshly terra sigillata because it's stamped with decorations and very often with the maker's name again so there are things like this hundreds, thousands of these things in the museum collections in Malton which makes a visit to the museum such an exciting experience if you take the time to work out what the things actually are uh, here are some of the, the other things uh, they're little well, not so little stone balls they've been carefully chipped out of uh, larger pieces of limestone and they're nothing more than uh, round balls of limestone but we found a lot of these uh, when excavations take place in the old Roman fort at Malton and we think uh, pretty certain in fact uh, that they are uh, for hurling from a Roman uh, war machine called a ballista which is rather like a catapult hurled these things at, at the enemy as it came up it was Malton from the 1st century AD until the 4th century AD seems to have been an important Roman military base and no doubt uh, these things were very effective if the place was ever attacked uh, and, uh, or if um, 
people uh, in the army here and the, in, in the units that were based here uh, were out uh, in campaign uh, trying to uh, keep the peace in the area of East Yorkshire where Moulton is. So they're rather fun things and as I say we've got a lot of them and uh, they take you straight away to um, the routines of a Roman army unit uh, trying to keep the peace in um, Roman Yorkshire. Hello, I, I'm Peter Adiman. I'm chairman of the Moulton Museum Foundation uh, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the wonderful objects that we've got in the collection, enormous numbers of them, uh, because uh, Moulton, way back in the Roman period, was an important military fort. It had a nice uh, little civilian settlement outside it. Uh, it had villas all round in the um, countryside and archaeologists over the years have found an incredible number of wonderful things which you can come and see in the museum.